Debbie and John here. Welcome back to The App Show. In this episode, we're going to talk about your inbox and how to turn the usual flood of emails into a more orderly, manageable flow. But first, we're cramming in a bunch of news before 2014 ends. In Gmail, you can now convert any Office file attachment to docs, sheets, or slides with one click using the new edit icon. We've also added conversion support for 15 new Office file formats. And a pro tip, if you always need to edit Office files without converting them, download our new Chrome extension. Finally, two cool new features a lot of you have been waiting for. One is page numbers and slides, and the other is merging table cells in Docs. Do you know how many emails are sent and received every day? Debbie, what do you think? A billion? 10 billion? 200 billion emails are sent every day, and half of those are work-related. So some are important, some are not. Today, we're going to go over... That's 8 billion emails per hour. <laughs> Today, we're going to go over how to get through those 8 billion emails an hour through Gmail. That's 2.3 million emails per second. That's a lot. We really have to clear out these inboxes. So to help with that, we're going to talk about tabbed inboxes. And that's your default setting in Gmail. So instead of having just one large inbox, you have tabs that help sort things for you. All emails aren't of equal priority, so this helps by putting the less important ones out of the way. So for example, I get a ton of emails promoting conferences, but I only care about the ones asking for panelists. So every once in a while, I'll take a quick glance over everything in my promotions tab, and if nothing looks relevant, I'll click the small empty box in the upper left, select all the ones on that page, and either delete or archive them all at once. And if something catches my eye, I uncheck it, delete all the others, and read that one when I have a moment. By the way, if you think an email is in the wrong tab, you can just drag it to another one. Gmail will ask you to say yes if you always want mail from that sender to go under that tab. So that's tabs, but it's easy to also enable other inbox types. Point your mouse at the inbox label and then click on the little arrow that appears. If you select important first, that's what you get, or you can have unread first. I have mine set to priority inbox, which automatically puts the emails important to me at the top of the page. Not only can you customize it, but it also learns which emails you consider important. And as you can see, the layout of your inbox changes into three main categories, important and unread, starred, and everything else. So switch that on and see how it works for you. Is it catching all the important mail? This email landed in the important and unread section, but it's not important to me. So I click on its importance marker, this little symbol here, to turn it off. Whereas this one down here is important, so I switch its marker on. That way, Gmo will learn which emails I value. You can also customize the inbox sections. Go to the settings gear, choose settings, then inbox. This third section is currently empty, so I go add section, then more options. Now I can choose from the labels I have already set up. I'm going to select follow up, so now everything I have labeled as follow-up comes up right here for me to see quickly. So that's Priority Inbox. If you want to learn about multiple inboxes, check out my interview with Gina, an admin on the Self-Driving Cars project. She also gives great tips on how to use labels and filters to keep her inbox clear. And if you're like me and get easily distracted by promotional emails or newsletters, there's a great way to use filters and keep those out of your inbox. By law, all newsletters and promotions have to have an unsubscribe link, so you can use that to create a filter. Let's say I want all of them to skip the inbox and be archived under a label like nice to read. Type unsubscribe into the search box at the top, hit enter, then click on the little options drop down. You'll see that the filter creation box already has unsubscribe in the field has the words. I'll create a filter with a search, then select archive it and apply the label. I can either pick a label I already have or create a new one here. Finally, I'll finish by hitting create filter. Isn't that clever? As ever. We hope these tips will be useful forever. And managing your inbox will be light as a feather? Mm, that kind of worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully this was useful. And let us know how you manage your inbox in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. That wraps up 2014 and our first two seasons. Thank you for all your support, comments, shares. We're looking forward to seeing you more in 2015. Happy holidays. This is nice. I didn't think I was going to get this warm. I wish we had some s'mores. I got some. <laughs>